Facebook ads is one of the best ways to generate leads for your business, no matter what industry you're in. If you're in e-commerce, if you're a roofing company, if you are a, a local service provider, if you are an advertising agency like myself, no matter what business you are, your customers are on Facebook and Facebook ads has made it super simple and easy to generate leads that can turn into customers predictably. Now, as an advertising agency, I've gotten to see how to run lead generation ads for so many different industries. And I can tell you it works in every single one. And I'm gonna show you exactly the best way to create a lead generation ad using Facebook ads so that you can go ahead and generate new business opportunities and new sales for your business predictably with Facebook ads. Now, just to show you this works, here's one of our clients that's an e-commerce company that we've actually spent $37,000 on lead generation ads for them alone, generating 23,000 leads at a $1.58 cost per lead. Now, this is a direct consumer product. So obviously these are a lot of leads. This is a general product that appeals to a lot of different people, but it converts consistently from a lead into an actual customer. And so we're spending a ton of money on this actual offer. And here's ourselves running ads for ourselves. Here is the results today. We're actually getting a cost per click of about $10. Again, we're an advertising agency, but this is very profitable for us. If we look in the last 30 days, we've actually been able to go ahead and spend $3,000 and generate uh, a total of uh, 12 bookings or sales calls, which for us is very profitable. And so this works no matter what industry you're in, no matter what funnel you have. So how do you go ahead and create a lead generation ad that converts for your business? Let's go ahead step-by-step step and break down exactly how to create your first lead gen ad. So here I am in the ads manager. You wanna make sure that you've created your ads manager in Facebook ads, you have your ad account and you come to this page, right? This is obviously, I have my campaign set up. If you don't have any campaigns, it'll look a little bit different, but you wanna make sure you come to this page and I have other videos on the channel if you need help with that. So first, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and click on create right here to go ahead and open up a, and create a new campaign. Now select leads right here. And this is good for instant forms, which is Facebook's uh, on platform lead generation form. And then you have messaging and Instagram DMs. You also have conversions and calls. So conversions would be things on your website and calls would be phone calls, obviously. So we're gonna go ahead and select continue on that. And then you have a tailored lead campaign or a manual lead campaign. I'm gonna suggest you create a manual lead campaign, gives you more control and uh, just gives you better targeting and, and setup overall. Uh, I wouldn't use this campaign unless um, you have some data for leads already in your account. Okay, so now that we've created the new campaign, we're gonna to wanna to name this campaign. I typically just name this, as you can kind of see on the left there, I'm gonna name this our company name, so Jet Ads, and then I'm gonna do leads, right? Uh, and then your niche, right? So let's say, you know, you're a roofing company, I would do roofing, and then I would do test V1, right? So let's just say that that's how we wanna name that. And what I would do is I would turn on this advantage campaign budget. This just makes it so the campaign budget or the budget that you set is at the campaign level, um, which means that it's gonna spend on different ad sets or different audience targeting based on whichever's getting the best cost per lead, right? And so in this case, I wanna set this to $100 um, for a total daily budget. You can also set a lifetime budget if you want, if you only wanna run this for a certain amount of time for a promotion or something like that. So I'm gonna change this back to daily and I'm gonna set $100 right there. Uh, I'm gonna optimize for the highest volume. You also have the option to do a cost per results or a bid cap. I would just do highest volume, simplest, and gets the best results. Uh, so then I'm gonna go ahead and go next. Now from here, we have our ad set name. So for the ad set name, again, you're gonna wanna name this after your audience targeting and some things like that. So I'm gonna leave this for now. Uh, so you have a couple of different options right here. So you could do multiple conversion events, right? Which would mean you wanna get website and calls. Now for a lot of businesses, this is gonna be exactly what you wanna do. If you're any type of local service provider, you're a roofing company, you are a, um, epoxy flooring company, you are a contractor, you know, grass cutting, you know, stuff like that. Any type of local business, local service, website and calls are both good because you want to send them to your website where you can then get a lead form submit or they call you directly to learn more about your services. So I would say this is typically the best one to go for. You can also do website instant form. Like I said, is generated by getting people to fill out a form on Facebook. So you can get a lot more leads, but they're usually of lower quality. And this is a little bit more advanced. And so I would say um, you wanna, you know, this is a different setup for this. So I'm not gonna go through that today. It's gonna say multiple. And then you also have messenger, which is again, you can automate sending messages to people um, if, you, if you have a DM funnel. So if you want people to DM you and then have that conversation in chat and WhatsApp and Instagram DMs, 
and you can do that there. Uh, you can also do instant forms and messenger, um, or you can do Instagram, Instagram chat, and you can do just calls. So again, I'm gonna do multiple for this. Now you're gonna wanna have your pixel set up with those conversion events set up. So for your website, if I go to our website right here, okay, you can see I am loading up our website right here and we have our form, which is get a free scale session. So we only have one route people can go to get a conversion with us, which is to click on this, get a free scale session, which is then gonna open up this form. They're gonna have to go through and complete this form. And then once they submit that, that will be marked as a lead. And then they have the option to book a call, which would then be another conversion for us. So that's how we have it set up. And we have it set up with the various softwares that we use, right? And so we use Calendly for our actual lead generation, right? So Calendly is this booking software, which books calls, which we take virtual calls, right? And so it looks like this. So if you wanted to use Calendly, right, then there is a backend integration. If I go to integrations and apps here, where I can then connect to my meta pixel, and that's going to automatically track my conversions from Calendly. So I would look whatever softwares that you use or whatever backend you use for your website, look to connect your pixel on that website, and then look to connect that with whatever booking software you use for lead generation, right? If you use a external app to generate leads um, or some type of external platform, then you're going to want to make sure that you track that um, in the backend of the pixel, right? And so this is an easy way to do that. Um, we also have a form set up for conversions like our footer right here, subscribe to the free ad education. So if somebody submits this, I also have a lead conversion for this connected to Webflow. That's our web play, website hosting platform. So there is uh, a lot to make sure you get right when it comes to the pixel setup before you actually run ads. You wanna make sure that you're properly tracking your convergence for lead generation at that step. And one last thing is for call funnels. Again, let's say you have a phone number in your header. What I would suggest using is call rail. So call rail tracks your phone call leads. And essentially it's that software, uh, like I said, where you can add in your Facebook pixel and this is going to automatically track your phone call leads. And so I can make a whole nother video about how to properly set this up, but there's other videos out there about how to set up call tracking, um, for your ads. And so this is what I would use to track your phone calls so that you can optimize again, your Google ads, um, and things like that for cost per leads and phone calls on Facebook ads. Okay, so for us, I'm gonna select our pixel right here and I'm gonna select our conversion event, which is invitee meeting scheduled. This is right from Calendly, again, that software that we use and that's how we go about generating leads for ourselves. So I'm gonna scroll down here and what I would do is enable dynamic creative. This just makes it a lot easier to test creative um, and you don't have to create all these individual ads. You can upload multiple assets, multiple images, multiple pieces of copy, headlines, descriptions, et cetera. And Facebook will find the best combination of that to generate you the most leads. So I'd recommend turning that on. And then as you scroll down here, you can leave all of these settings right here. You're gonna to wanna to select your location. So if you are a local business, right? And you have a small radius that you operate around, what I would do is you have some options right here to add in specific locations, right? And so what I would do, go browse right here, and you can search for that location. So if you wanted to do, let's say, um, you know, Winnipeg, right? You can add that in, right? And so that would give you that large radius um, and you can narrow this down, right? So that you can only, you know, target, you know, within 10 kilometers of this city right here. Uh, and so if you wanted to get a little bit more granular than that, then what you could do is drop a pin, right? So if I wanted to zoom in here, let's say I just wanted to target just around there. Right. I could do, I could drop a pin right there and I could narrow this down even further. And I could make this just around my business. If your business is right here in your area, that's what I would do in order to target a specific local area. Right now, if you're more global, you can obviously enter the, your whole country or your whole province or state. Um, but in this case, uh, this is how you would narrow that down further. Uh, and then pretty simple, pretty straightforward there, uh, gives you a good idea of how to actually target uh, people in a specific area. Okay, so let's say I wanna target people in that area. Minimum age, that's where you can change this. If you wanna do this at you know 25, let's say, that's kind of like the age you know people buy from you. Then there you go, and you can see you're gonna reach about 45,000 to 53,000 people, okay? Keep on scrolling here. You have your audience suggestions right here, and this is where I would recommend you add in some audience interests related to your service. So if you are roofing, right, then you wanna go ahead and add in roofing as an interest roofing contractor, 
right? And so you can see there's not a lot of interest for that. Um, you can add in a couple different ones and try to get this a little bit um, wider right here. Um, again, but if you are local, um, what is it's best to do sometimes is kind of find related things like homeowner or let's see some different like demographics right here. So if you go to behaviors, what you can do here is go to like recently moved, for example, um, you could target that to test that out. You can target a couple different things. Um, but with lead generation, you don't need to get super granular on this. You can definitely leave this open, especially if you are in a local area. Just leave that open and make that age range wider. So again, here, if we know um, for roofing, people are only really in that demographic from 35 to 60, let's say, uh, that's typically your customer range, then you'd wanna do that. Uh, and just kind of leave it open and you will reach people and generate leads in that area without even needing to add in any interest targeting. The larger uh, you go in terms of location size, the more targeted you wanna get with your audiences right here. So as an example, if I was to target all of Canada, right? And for myself, I'm an advertising agency. So if I wanted to target people interested in advertising, I would go advertising and then I would go like advertising management right here. And I could target that if I wanted to. Uh, that's actually a job title. I'm gonna go online advertising and that's actually the interest that I'm gonna target. And you can see I have a large market for this uh, and that's gonna work for us. In our case, as an agency, that's what we target. So when it comes to the uh, naming now that we've set all this up, I'm gonna go multiple, right? Uh, calls plus website. And then I'm gonna go online advertising. And then I would enter in the age range that you selected as well. So 35 to 60, 35 to 60. And then you haven't selected any specific gender, but you could do that as well. If you want to just target men, you could do that and then go men. Okay. And then when it comes to the actual lead level, right, you're going to have this option right here where it has that instant form, or you can create a form. I am going to go none right here. I am going to select uh, learn more is a good conversion event typically. And then you're gonna wanna add in your phone number right here. So let's say, um, you know, your phone number is, let's go plus one, two, oh, four, two, 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 right? So there you go. So I have my phone number now in there, right? And that's also my WhatsApp phone number. So I wanna get a call, at a call button on your website so they can easily call you on your actual website right there. And then you can go ahead and set up your ad. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our link to our website right there. And then you can add in multiple headlines right here. So let's say your advertising services, online advertising near you, you can add in multiple descriptions there. And then for text options, you can add in multiple text options, um, jet to better ad results in our case. And then same thing for creative, you can go ahead and grab a creative that, um, that you know works well. Let's say I want to use these two images right here. So I can see these are what my ads are going to look like. And there we go. And it's going to send that traffic to my website. It's going to be tracking for that conversion. And from here, I can go ahead and publish this campaign. I can also preview this URL right here. All right. Again, that's what that's going to look like. And we are good to go. So that's now going to track everything, assuming that you have all that set up and you are good to go to go ahead and publish this campaign. There you go. And that's exactly how to set up a lead generation ad. Uh, again, coming back to this account, we have a lot of different lead gens. And so if you are an e-commerce brand and you're wanting to run a lot of different lead gens, it's this times, you know, a million essentially, right? Where we have a ton of different offers. We have a ton of different um, brands here that we're running this for. And so we have a lot of different lead gens that people can opt into and go through a funnel. And they have this entire back end of you know, warming up those leads and converting them. So, it, you know, it does get quite complex. Uh, but as an example right here, you can see we have multiple audience targeting right here that are, have been turned off. So we have our top audience right here. And if I go over, right, you can see we have multiple ads right here that are related to different creative images that are all for the same lead gen. And so if I go to the ad set level, you can see we're maximizing number of conversions. We have the pixel set up and we're optimizing for the conversion event of lead, which we've set up and we know on the website when people opt into our lead gen assets, that gets marked as a lead conversion event. And then we have our ad here, which we have optimized to send people to a landing page specifically for this lead gen asset that people opt in for. And if they're happy, uh, they put in their information and they will get emailed that lead generation asset and we warm them up to eventually convert them. So there you have it. That is how to run lead gen ads on Facebook ads. 
uh, the quick and easy beginner guide. There's obviously a lot of nuance that goes into running good lead generation ads, but that's the quick tutorial on how you can set this up for yourself and for your business. Now, if you're a business that wants help setting this up and wants to start generating new customers with advertising, or you already run ads, then check the links in the description. Our agency helps businesses get better ad results on autopilot with our team of media buyers. So you can book it a call, check the link in the description, uh, book a scale session. We're happy to see if you're a good fit. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you enjoyed the video. It really helps my channel grow and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much. Have an amazing rest of your day.